streamer people. All right. We have uh, Kohai's AEMer and Tempo on the mics now. So looks like we have Kusa versus K9 on stream next for Winter Semis. Yes, we do. So K9 going with the tried and true Sheik versus Kusa's Rob. Yeah, this Kusa has been tearing up the bracket so far. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with this player. Uh, I haven't gone to anything, so mm. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know a lot of people these days. But starting out, a lot of damage on Kusa. She getting all of that combo food. Oh, but the down tilt gimmick. <laughs> you may not. Yeah, that down tilt is like such a good combo tool now. Like, because it, it combos into itself and it could potentially trip for even more damage and extending the combo basically. Especially ooh, when the gyro's right there too. But like, you can kind of down tilt them into the gyro and then get a forward smash out of it. And just like that, Kusa has taken the first stock of the set. Yeah, great anti air with that, with that forward smash, acknowledging that K9 wanted to approach with a forward air. Ooh, I like that little drift back to avoid the sweet spot up smash and just grab on ledge. Oh, yeah, well, now K9. K9 going aggressive, he really wants to get the stock so we can continue playing, not a deficit. Going super deep to get that fair, but not quite yet. Fuel on yellow, though. That is blue now. Yeah. Ooh, K9, I feel like he's starting to fish for the reads a little bit. You know, he's going for these super hard up smash reads, and Kusa is not falling for any of it, and instead just taking advantage of neutral at this point. Hey, knowing that K9 wanted to jump up, try to get out of the situation, it was already waiting for him. Ooh, like SD, unfortunate. Yeah. Like I mean, you know dog. Kusa just tried to do everything he can to avoid She because she can go in so far for the edge guard, and I guess he either ran out of gas or just didn't end up being time. Good stuff on K9 to throw the gyro away. Uh, Kusa was doing some really neat <laughs> little traps there earlier, but he's like, no, you know, Take that. No! Oh, uh -oh. that, that might have been worth it if he had gone the swipe kickbox of it, but no, now K9 is just <laughs> K9. throwing away stocks at this point. See, I mean, as, as you said, he was playing at a pretty big deficit, and it would have definitely given him the mental advantage, but now he's pretty far behind. Gyro in hand for Kusa. Uh, the K9, K9 does not want to go in that corner where the gyro is so he can get some bobs. All right. I feel like K9's trying to push a little bit too hard with Sheik. You know, he's trying to land immediately. And Kusa's just free to be like, okay, let me just wait, see what you do, and then punish whatever you're trying to do with that. And like you see right there, he just drifted back and saw K9 throughout that in there and be like, okay, now I'm going to punish you for misspacing this aerial. Yeah, as Bruce definitely is playing way too aggressive, but like he has to. He needs to get the stock, so he has to make a point of it. All right, cool. So even stock. She gets like slow damage and Rob's a hard killer, so it's not quite even. But he just needs a couple strings and then things will be much, much scarier for Kusa. I mean that's kind of the one thing that Sheik has going for her in this matchup is that you know Rob's a big hitbox, you know, really hard to land back on the stage. So if she can just get him into a juggle situation, you know, Kusa's gonna need a lot of damage and that might just be enough to bring the game back. Yeah, Kusa got a grab there, he opted for the down tilt instead. But Sheik is light, not light enough. No air dodge on stage though. Okay, well he's, he made it back. Kusa kind of just let him find his way back. Maybe downloading data for later. Maybe have an up air ready for him next time. Ooh, ooh, good, good directional air dodge out of that situation. And just like this, K9 slowly making it back as long as he doesn't Kusa. fish. He's still, but he fished and finally caught it with that up smash, you who, know? Kusa. Who, who would have sunk after that entire set that Kusa was the one that would have been fishing for something and then he died for it? All right. Yeah. I mean, that was just a super... He, he side beat on, on the platform, right? Yeah, yeah. He was, I think he was expecting K9 to act aggressive again because the entire game he was just, like, jumping all over him. Right. And then the one time he just didn't do it, died for it, lost the game. Looks like we're counting picking Kalos Pokemon lead. I mean, that's one of the situations where when you have the lead and you're getting them up to super high percent and you feel like, why am I not killing? And you... you Especially you versus Sheik. Yeah. <laughs> you feel pressure to be like, okay, I should be cleaning out the stock. Like, why am I not cleaning it out? And you pressure and make a mistake because of that. All right, so game two, K9 has the mentality boost, and he is going deep to make sure that he's like, yeah, okay. I, I, may, I may have stolen that, but, like, <laughs> now, now I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, he this. stole the gyro? And this the is the K9 that we're familiar with, you know, the one that's just like, once I hit you, 
you are not landing or getting back to stage if I can help. And look at this with this clean edge guard. Nakusa is not playing nearly as confident as he was in game one. You know, that, it's like you saw his head shaking, and, you know, I really hope he can find his way out of this, like, rut he put himself in. It's one of those things where I feel like at this point, Kusa kind of, like, has that, like, mental block at this point where he was like, okay, I'm getting combo now. I need to escape. And, no, he's not playing neutral because he's playing pan panicked at this point. All right, but we got something started. But, again, you know, fair string across the stage. Corner carried. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, the delayed bouncing fish. Oh, that's so unfortunate too, because you know he tried to punish it, but then he got hit by the second bouncing hit of the bouncing fish, and then he died for it. That was an amazing wait by K9. He knew it was coming. All right, what's going to be the play? Who's a, ooh, okay, good, good Z drop gyro to up smash. Excellent. All right, let's see. K9. Oh. <laughs> hard to explain what's happening. Yeah. I mean, at this point, K9 is just bullying Rob in the air. Look at that. All these aerials coming out, and Rob just can't land. And, you know, if Rob is one of those characters where he's a zoner and he's a trap character. If you don't let the characters set up their traps, you know, they're going to suffer, like, greatly in the disadvantage. And just like that, Rob's at 104%. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that directional air dodge. I mean, he's still he's still in it. Uh, oh, this air was... <laughs> the Z-Drop was cool, but the Nair said, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> the Kalos League coming in clutch there. Right. <laughs> the and platform's that, a little taller. Uh, that back air, too. like, cleaning out that stock. You know, it was super strong attack. But, oh. and again, no, is this Rob's comeback? Uh, I mean, like I said earlier, Sheik, Sheik has a hard time killing. So K9 had to work a lot more to do something to Rob. But, you know, you, sometimes you just get the Nair bouncing fish. Yeah. I mean, that, they say, like, oh, yeah, she struggles to kill. But when you deal, like, 0 to 60 in a, like, in a long string combo, like, it's it's not, like, one combo. It's just long strings that she does that just keeps you in disadvantage. And when you're in disadvantage like that, it's just so hard to reclaim neutral if you're not a character that has the tools. And look, like, we see Kusa going to a character with slightly better tools to break out a disadvantage, especially with, like, the flip kick and the banana. Interesting. You know, I guess you could you could argue that K9 definitely smartened up game two versus the Rob, and he was very dominant that game as opposed to the first one. So maybe a character swap is warranted. This is also a character I'm pretty sure K9 is familiar with, uh, at least in this game. I know he was very adamant about using Diddy in the previous one. So we'll have to see what Kusa does. Ooh, nice snare there. Ooh, aggressive option from K9. And yet again, I feel like K9's uh, aggression these past few games have like really been improved. You know, he's not just throwing out hitbox or getting punishes. Like he's actually calling out a lot of Kusa's defensive options. I'm, I'm sorry. I, every time I see K9 with a banana, I'm getting, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> I don't want to know what she can do with with the banana. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty even. Uh, I believe Diddy probably has slight more, slightly more kill power than, than I mean, Sheik does. Yeah, just one quick down tilt or banana to F smash. You know. But sure. if Kusa keeps on air dodging like this, no, K9 might eventually catch Ooh. on. That was a good drag down up air. Yep. Okay. Let's see what Kusa has to do with his ledge option. Nah. Yeah, I think he's playing a bit too... Uh, like, get me down to the ground now and then just hitting, mashing air dodge more, mentality. I, more, I guess, like, sporadically, where he's, he's definitely thinking a lot more about how do I close this out? How do I do this? How do I do that? Whereas... Oh, okay. Ooh, he, oh, he wanted the double dunk to just yeah, clean and, out that stock super early. But you know what? K9 being a little bit smart, be like, hey, I, I used to play this character. I know what you're fishing for. K9 I'm not giving not, it to you. He did not double jump, did not give him that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like when he was playing Rob, his, uh, his, let, his trap options of the gyro were very, like, uh, well, what's the word? He was thinking a lot about what he was doing in each one. And Diddy, I mean, I guess he feels like he needs a hitbox right. to, like, deny what K9's doing. So, I mean, Diddy's doing that, 
no, there's like good zone breaking tools because you know Sheik's suppression, you know, it's super fast, so you need a character with you know fast frame data in order to compete with it, I guess. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Ooh, if he approached the fair, that could have been something really good for him. Ah. Uh, Not quite enough to take the stock, but there's the air dodge, and yet again, I feel like Kusa's just throwing out these air dodges a little bit too preemptively. Okay, there's the up air kill. Kusa still can definitely do this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yep. Like I said, you're just gonna have to play a bit more patient, I feel. Oh, okay, we got some damage. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to do the, the barrel setup, but I think he went a little bit too high on the up part of it, and so he did a true combo into it. it. Looks like K9's also starting to catch these high monkey flips. Oh. And again, he's catching all these monkey flips, like you said, or um, no, just punishing Kusa for all this. Reads the spot dodge. It's a neutral tag. Bouncing fish trade. Oh, he already has banana on stage. Banana's gone. Grab it. Okay. So this is definitely scarier for K9 than it right. is for Kusa. I mean, Kusa definitely has a lot more setups. So the kill confirms. Not going to finish it with the up smash right there, but banana on deck. All it takes is one down tilt. Oh, the banana definitely saved him from getting bouncing fish, potentially. Oh, oh there it okay. is. And there we go. Yeah. No, Diddy, a lot more attacks can pretty much trade or just beat out Sheiks, you know, especially with that fair. So the switch to Diddy definitely proved to be very successful. Well, that's not saying much considering that that set was that game was still as close as the other two. Uh, if Kusa keeps holding banana in hand, you know, that pressure option, just the fact that it exists is gonna change a lot. Are we gonna see a character swap? Maybe to the Joker. <laughs> Please Joker? I mean, he plays, he, he, plays, he plays all the top tiers, basically. He plays Wolf. I know, he plays Wario. Yeah. Eat that banana, get some waft. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you're playing against Wario, you're, you're basically playing with two stocks. All right, so. Because that waft on deck just kills stupid early. Okay. So now Wario definitely might have a harder time overall against Diddy Kong, primarily just because Diddy... He's, he's a lot lankier. Oh, he's not as lanky, excuse me. So he won't be able to hit him as far. I'm not sure what that monkey flip was, but you know, he he's still... Ooh. <laughs> Please get back to center stage, my friend. Oh no. Oh no, and this is the Wario combo. And just like that, he ate a good like 40% off of that. Maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about the last game. I think Wario is yeah. completely fine versus Diddy Kong. I mean, in this game, Wario's just like, What's a lead? You don't have a lead versus me. That's fair. Oh, dude. These high monkey flips. You land him right on top of K9 waiting. Yeah, I mean, as we said, with uh, the Rob switch to Diddy, so he has more like just bigger hitboxes come out faster. Right. You know, Wario hitbox bigger in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely can have harder punishes. Definitely a lot more meaty hitboxes, too. And yet yeah. again, like, I was, I was a funny, nine. funny gimmick move. Yeah. Uh, did, did not work, unfortunately. But you know, he's he's still sitting pretty high. Right. Let's just, just hope he doesn't come to regret it later on in the set. Cause, and again, this could be Kusa's comeback. Yeah. K9, K9 just literally in front of Kusa's face the entire time. Yeah, that Nair just has like such a huge, long-lasting hitbox that it's really hard to contend with it sometimes. Okay, holding shield, good call. Ooh, you know K9 wants that fastball up air to to waft. You know, two minutes are almost up, so waft should be on deck any moment now. Yeah, right there, there you go. With the bite, making it easier, but it doesn't matter because he got the F. He got fared. Uh, yeah, that's just oppressive, because unlike Sheik, like, Sheik doesn't really have that, like, quick drop zone move. I mean, I guess Nair is kind of like the best option. I think, like, I think uh, she does, 